Hi guys, it's James here from Sunseeker Southampton. We're still on lockdown at the moment, so I'm just down doing some weekly checks on my boats. And whilst I'm here, just taking the opportunity to give you a look around today on a brokerage listing that came to market uh, recently, just before the, the lockdown. She's a Sunseeker Predator 57 Mark II, 2019, uh, called Armadillo. So if I just spin the camera around for you here behind me, you'll see here she is, literally lifted out of the water, uh, end of February, ready for, uh, preparation for sale and um, professionally maintained by a captain from new so he's just started to do polishing of the hull exterior uh, full coat of anti-foul fresh anodes that sort of thing ready to um, to put back in the water once all of this is over so give you a quick tour around today give you a few features and and a run through the spec and what have you and hopefully we can set up a viewing for um, for when the restrictions are eased so say Predator 57, this model launched uh, in Southampton 2018 at the boat show um, and this boat was built new for the client spec, delivered April 2019 and as a Mark 2 57, you'll see the mullion up in the, um, the window here on the Mark 1 is a solid GRP structure whereas on the Mark 2 here we've got a massive expansive glass that we'll see when we go up top in a minute. Of course trademark signature Predator styling, so very sleek, sexy massive hole windows here throughout so loads of natural light inside really aggressive looking boat from all angles very pretty and um, they were offered with an option for ips 950 on a pod drive or also with a straight shaft to which most of them are built with a shaft and this particular boat's got the larger twin d13 900 engines gives a top speed around 33 knots burning cruise speed 22 knots uh, realistically around 200 to 250 liters an hour so reasonably economical for a, for a boat of this size and this particular model uh, has got the option here also for the slight vector fin stabilizing so you'll see a 55 centimeter curved vector fins these reduce about 65 percent of the roll and um, which really eliminates the majority of cases of seasickness and um, the, the advantage of a, a fin system rather than a gyro is basically allowing the boat to operate also speed and at anchor so it's a zero speed system um, but also when underway it's that really awkward kind of three-quarter angle C and um, it dials out a lot of the the roll and it generally it makes the ride on board whether you're running at 10 knots or 20 knots that much smoother uh, no point out on the front there we've got an electric slight and a proportional bow thruster and uh, owners opted to go for an optional stern thruster on this one as well standard colors on the outside were a white Sunseeker rail white gel coat hull with the black signature boot top stripe there hydraulic high low platform on the back here this will lift 450 kilos so you can put a big jet ski on the back if you so wish um, and there's also a garage up top there we'll have a look at shortly um, part of the platinum pack just having a walk around underneath here we've got these nice lumishore underwater lights so there's four of those you can see so captain started to to polish up trim tabs props have been polished see really the quality of this boat showing through so she's done the whole of her 2019 season now being ready pretty much just final clean down to do a teak and what have you ready for 2020 season here um, obviously balance of warranty still on the boat so we've got uh, delivered say March March April 2019 so there's a balance of the two-year systems warranties and the balance of the five-year transferable hull warranty as well so just having a walk around the outside here you can see she's absolutely immaculate not a mark on the on the gel coat it's a very very well kept boat very little usage and um, we're looking about 105 running hours on the engines so very um very little almost just run in really ready to um to take advantage of here you know beat the um beat the waiting list on what is now the predator 60 recently upgraded end of 2019 season uh, fits in the range between what is the Predator 50, our entry level in the Predator range. And then above, there's a big jump up to the to the 74. So very popular boat, whether it's an owner operator coming up from a smaller cruiser or looking for a first time out, uh, say three or four days on the water with a captain, we can get you up to a, to a very competent standard to take this out in total safety. So teak pack throughout, standard on the bathing platform here from the factory. So this will all clean up like new uh, once the, the restrictions are eased. Worth pointing out on the back. So uh, middle section here is uh, the option for the beach club, which this client took. So we've got an electric 
griddle, little um, preparation area here next to it. That's uh, 230 volts that'll run off the generator. That's a little seat that drops down, cushion that sits in here. And then uh, standard on all 57s, you've got the, the crew cabin here. Most owners say majority of this is a, an owner operator boat really, so it's more of a, a storage room, but there is a, a single bed tucked down underneath the garage floor there. There's a lift up uh, lid there revealing a, a sea toilet and in the wall a pull out sink. So it's a practical working area, say occasional berth if you if you so need it. Um, but really for a lot of people it's a place to store canopies, water toys, paddle boards, that sort of extra paraphernalia separate to the garage. I won't lift it up today, but hidden underneath this whole back area, this lifts up um, and it's a, a garage with a shuttle launching tender roller system. It'll take up to a three, four, five Williams, which is a jet tender capable of sort of 50 knots. And we've got one actually in the garage, which the owner would consider selling um, by separate negotiation or as part of a package deal. So we just head on up. Um, other bits to worthy noting, we've got um, stern docking winches here, part of the platinum pack. We've got a second set of cleats down here um, just to do your crossover spring lines. Full teak decks throughout, so you'll see here teak running all the way around the side of the boat. Really does give it a nice luxurious feel. Um, there's a set of sunbed cushions to come up here, which we'll see when we go in the cockpit shortly. And then she's got a, a performance audio pack as well. So there's a, a separate um, pair of fusion speakers and a head unit control over on the starboard side there next to the cup holders. Lovely detailed stainless steel rails here. Everything feels very, very high end quality and easy to um, to navigate your way around the boat. Lots of handholds. Great looking, I have to say, really aggressive, but timeless classic style, which is not going to date this boat. We've been um, building the Mark 1 57 since 2016. I'm saying the Mark 2 is from late 2018, so still a very fresh model in the range. And you just see from the outside here how big the expanse of opening hard top is here. Down the centre, you can see the these huge glass panels that let light in below. Different coloured options of spray painting the roof up here. This owner's gone with the silver, which also comes down onto the mullions here. So it's a very, um, very tastefully done. And just to, to highlight again, say on the Mark II version here, so this would have been a, a gel coat band running through here, but we've obviously got now the expanse of the, the much bigger glass windows. Nice handy opening window here at the, uh, at the helm inside and then if we look up top part of the Simrad premium pack we've got a um, 64 nautical mile Simrad open array radar up there a couple of trumpet stainless horns remote control spotlight and uh, aerials for the DPS and and VHF and GPS up the top there as well so we'll go through the nav kit in a bit more detail we go in board uh, little details things like these are lift up rope storage bins nice for the tails off the winches if you're down in the med Passerel control here, so we've got a letterbox passerel that comes out of the step here, just um, just down off the platform and things like battery switches, so everything's nicely to hand when you first come onto the boat. Get yourself powered up, and then you're welcome on board into this cockpit area. So, so as a Predator style, it's, um, it's all on one level in terms of your entertaining deck, no flybridge up top, so to speak, so just the one driving position inside. And then this particular owner's opted for a second station out here in the cockpit. So docking in the med, just lift the cover up and we've got the option here for the, the Zenta joystick. Again, we'll go through that when we get up to the helm, uh, just a sec. Again, full teak pack throughout. So very, very nice. So apart from a final clean down, she's absolutely ready, ready to go for the season. Uh, full black canvas canopies around the back here. So you can see even on an overcast day like we have here today in Swanwick, still very bright and airy you can imagine yourself using this boat northern hemisphere here in the uk still a very usable space here stood stood back to take in the the space was offered upholstery is very neutral throughout the boat so we've got outside cushions here is done in a like a platinum silver umbrella fabric it's very easy to work with you can dress it up with some funky scatter cushions if you want to do something as a bit of a statement piece but it really goes with anything and that theme runs throughout the boat owner's done a very tasteful finish in here throughout. Uh, we've got a speaker upgrade, so there's a say part of the Sonance speaker upgrade to um, two speakers up on the top here, both port and starboard. There's a fusion control here out in the cockpit. And then um, 
this is a wet bar area on the starboard so if we lift up the lid you'll see um, owner's taken a Kenyan electric grill stainless sink and then underneath there's a, a space for a fridge and an ice maker so it really is a very high spec boat here and to replace today would be getting on for around 1.6 million pounds including tax so it's a very um, it's a very good opportunity to kind of beat the waiting list save yourself on a little bit of depreciation that the owner's going to suffer from that selling after um, after a first year um, and have a boat that's really say turnkey and, and get out on the water to use soon as the um, the lockdowns ended so big um, big dining table out here in the cockpit and then you'll notice on yesteryear of older style predator and, and sports boats in general you would have these patio doors which would give you an open or a closed boat feel depending on how you chose to run with them what we introduced on the predator range uh, was actually this patio door comes across and then the whole door now drops down into the into the floor which if i just grab the button here i'm just going to demonstrate for you it really does make a massive change to how the boat feels um, and i'm just going to stand back in a second and show you how much um, open air is offered now once the the cockpit is sort of incorporated into the the deck saloon itself it's a great feature if you're boating here certainly in in the northern european waters where the weather's changing all the time and you'd love to have the benefit of a massive open cockpit boat for those sunny days but the reality is a lot of the time you want the heating on you want the doors shut and you don't know what to go for a lot of owners would have had to previously go for a flybridge boat but now with this sort of design you can see how big and open this boat is even with my covers up now i've got this huge expanse of open open deck area i can import my uh, incorporate my living area here up top into my open air boating and if the weather changes i don't have to worry about those aft canopies i can just shut that door stick my heating on and i'm instantly i've got all the creature comforts again and it's nice and comfy on board massive expanse of glass windows obviously with um with the um with the blinds up top here and there's a mesh windscreen cover to go around the front for privacy again very neutral colors in here so we've got uh, wood was a special order this is a wenge uh, in a in a satin finish and it contrasts really nicely with these kind of graphite sprayed it's a lacquer spray on the doors here so very neutral modern feeling and tucked under the carpets here again wenge wenge floors throughout all the um all the accommodation on the upper and and main um saloon area downstairs we've got this nice cream sort of upholstery soft fabrics say no leathers in here so it's a very cozy feeling boat so you looking around no marks on the sofas you'd never know really the boats had any usage at all so nice neutral scatter cushions table obviously opens up so we've got a much bigger place for um for dining in the evening and then over on the starboard side here there's a, a telly so this is a 40 inch samsung tv in a high low box there and then tucked in front i've got nice signature Sunseeker branded dart eating glasses um, and then things like storage for bottles general paraphernalia in here there's a further top loading pool box which is a factory option in the top and then uh, in the end here this is the AV cupboard so we've got a fusion system which is linked up to we've got a Samsung uh, Blu-ray DVD player as well it's a very high spec on the AV and it'll be easy enough to add uh, satellite TV for those that might want to watch you know Formula One and what have you overseas and um, we could always retrofit things like that on the boat we move up now to the helm we've got twin bezons only leather helm chairs and everything's falling really nicely to hand here um, before I sit up at the helm I'll just show you this is a lift up teak step here so with the roof open it just gives you a little bit more um, height to get your head out over the top of this windscreen mullion um, just if you want the wind in your hair when you're running but equally, I'm sat at the helm. And if I do that now, just show you I'm sitting behind the glass, so very protected, and it's a great place to be if you're doing a long distance passage. Uh, Range-wise, we're looking at about 250 nautical miles at 22 knots. So it's um, yeah, it's fully planing hull. Equally, it's happy with the fin stabilizers if the weather really is that bad to drop it back to eight, 10 knots, and it'll maintain that quite happily off the plane at a very low fuel consumption. Uh, looking so we start at the top first so we've got twin 16 inch simrad premium displays so these give a multitude of readouts of things like split screen uh, chart radar and um, we've got ais on board transceiver system send and receive 
Uh, we've got a CCTV system, so you'll see it cycling through the cameras at the moment here for um, engine bay and then stern docking camera as well. Uh, we've got a seven inch, so they would be standard twin two and a half inch displays. Seven inch color display here, which also gives you uh, fuel consumption. And then we've got an AP Simrad autopilot system here. Um, Jabsco remote searchlight. There's a stereo control. Sunseeker CM8 control here. So we've got um, access for things like tank readouts, um, alarm systems on the boat. And then there's the um, control panel for the stabilizers there. So a slight vector fin system, which links into the um, hydraulic pack also for the thrusters. So these are electric thrusters, um, proportional. So we can lock off maybe like the more you push the stick, more power it's giving you. And that sort of lock it 30% and it'll hold the boat alongside a fuel dock while you're um, getting off to do your lines if you're running short handed. They don't get hot and bothered like the old style on off style switch that you would have had on yesteryear thrusters. Um, so it's a real upgrade improvement that we've fitted on Sunseekers for several years now. Nice little signature touch is the weighted steering wheel here. Very uh, Rolls-Royce-esque, so that always maintains its center position when you're running. And then coming across here, we've got Volvo's um, EBC fly-by-wire throttles, so they're very much one finger in and out of gear. Maneuverability is very straightforward. Um, and so the owner's taken the option then for a further upgrade for a joystick. And the Zenta system is taking the control of the gearboxes and the thrusters into one very simple unit. So if you're not used to driving boats all the time, this is basically throttles into neutral, activate the joystick, and you've then got what is effectively point and shoot parking. Twist the top, goes round in a circle, push it sideways, boat goes sideways. It's very, very intuitive. A six year old can drive it better than most guys my age. Um, and it's really revolutionized confidence of people that aren't on boats every weekend, being able to get into larger, larger motorboats. Uh, further upgrade the owner chose to go for is uh, a DPS, so that's dynamic positioning, and that's incorporating a GPS and flux gate compass to allow the boat to hold station in one place. It's a really great feature if you're waiting, say, for a fuel dock, it's a busy day, all the boats are going around in a circle. You can hold your position without having to constantly engage controls and watch what the wind and the tide's doing. System does it all for you, it's very clever. Literally hit one button and it instantly locks on, takes a position, and it will maintain that position on a windy windy day, even with some current running. Um, so say very, very high spec here. Um, we've also got carbon fiber dash panels. Try and come in here to show you the, the quality of it. It's all hand laid carbon. Nice place, still practical to keep your paper charts as well. And say just sitting here, um, this top window opens down to give you a nice easy view out the side. So even if it's a wet, windy day at the helm, I could drop the window just to get my head out and see effectively where my side deck is here, right next to the helm. Uh, whilst we're here also, I'm just gonna open the roof up, just to give you an idea of how this space suddenly on a, on a day, if you're thinking of using the boat down in the med, you've then got the flexibility to, to get yourself outside, forget the air con and running all the systems, you can just open the boat right up, no covers on, and it's totally transformed back into the, the style of boating that loads of med boaters love through wind in your hair in the sun beating down on you. So you can see right how far that roof back goes back. We've now got this massive area. I'm just gonna stand back at the back of the cockpit here so you can see, appreciate just how much natural light that's now let in. So it's cavernous. And being a, a GRP structure, no canvas up there, it's very solid, no creaks and groans and what have you. Nice big seal on the front here. So you can lock it off at any position if you just want to crack it open for a bit of ventilation or push it right back if you want to get this uh, this nice open feel we now have. So we head on down, we go and do lower decks. Um, I'll just point out, this is the main control panel for uh, the AC side of the boat. And then um, underneath here, we've got separate handy breakers for uh, the D DC systems on the boat. Um, there's a generator down in the engine room, which will run all the domestic systems. It's upgraded to 13 kilowatts, which will do all of the domestic galley equipment, the air con, the slight um, stabilizer systems. It's a very high spec um, electric system, 63 amp electrics on the shore power. So galley on the port side here, lower deck. We've got a nice big style fridge with a, with a freezer compartment there. Um, we've got an optional upgrade here, which is a dishwasher, slimline dishwasher. Further upgrade on a Smeg, a nice electric combi microwave oven, four burner electric top, 
um, lovely um, synthetic stone here on the on the worktops with a fleck in it. Let's try and get in on that, show it in the light. It's um, it's a great feel down here, and it contrasts nicely against the the graphite grey boxes up top here and the the wood that you can also see detailed throughout the accommodation. I say, and as mentioned earlier, you've got wood floors underneath the carpets here, and um, also another option the client chose to go for was um, storage under the stairs here. Again, just never have too much storage on a on a boat so nice to take advantage of all those separate voids uh, then we've got lower deck dinette area so three cabins on the boat plus the lower dinette nice little breakfast area to sit in the morning read the paper and watch tv and you've got a little 22 inch samsung tv up on the bulkhead there linked into a fusion player um, and then up top here these are so there's your fusion you've got more storage speakers up in the roof here um, LED lighting throughout it's all dimmable as well LED sometimes a bit harsh at night uh, things like uh, custom panels in here so again little attention to detail owner took a lot of care in making sure his spec was absolutely to his own design and then we move forward into the accommodation so we got um, three cabins two doubles and one bunks uh, so this is your VIP guest cabin forward center line double we've got storage drawers in the end of the bed here and then uh, up on the top here, these are, again, little storage cupboards. Uh, this is aircon outlets in the top, so full climate control throughout the boat with separate air handlers, panels here, nice, easy to get to by the bed. She's on UK three pin plug sockets, which are easy enough to change if you wanted to switch into a med two pin style. Again, uh, 22 inch telly up on the bulkhead there with a fusion system. And then uh, two door access, Jack and Jill access into the second heads here. So we can come in through the, direct from the guest cabin, or we've got an option here in through the, what would be our day heads access or from the third cabin. Nice, good size sink. And um, again, say we've got storage cupboards up top, cupboards underneath. Um, we've got a nice size shower here. Great, great separate compartment. Having not got to dry that bathroom out once you finish using it. A nice soaker shower in the top, plus the um, the separate handset, and of course um, Tecma vacuum uh, vacuum flush electric toilets. There's an aircon outlet there, so nice drying out your wet weather gear. Um, and the owners also opted for these um, electric towel rails in both of the both of the heads. Midships um, bunk cabin here, so we've got two. You have to excuse this is full of bedding, all um, freshly washed, ready for. For the beds to be dressed back up when when lockdown finishes but we've got two good size single beds here and um, you'll see the old roman blinds there tucked down closing the windows off at the moment uh, but there's a good size wardrobe in here and again av pack with a tv up on the bulkhead so say so everybody's got the same systems throughout and then we come down to the showpiece of the boat really which is the master cabin midships master cabin massive full beam massive windows great center line uh, it's a 1.83 meter wide bed and it's a very very nice place to spend some time on the water um, away from the, the the bustle that's going on on the boat so really you've got a nice little sofa area and um, when you moved into the state the stabilizer system um, this would have standard would have been two single seats and a, and a table in the middle but we with the stabilizers we need the space under the floor so we put the sofa style in um, and we still got loads of storage so good um good wardrobe in here We've got loads of little sort of cubby holes by the beds. We've got drawers under the uh, under the beds. These all pull out underneath, um, and then over the, on the on the port side of the boat, um, we've also got uh, a safe in here as well for for jewellery and what have you. And then up on the bulkhead, nice size forty inch Samsung telly again with um, with speakers in here, Fusion DVD player, etc. So it's a very um, it's very high spec on the AV, on the navigation, electrical systems, things like it's got the Glen Denning, which is um, a powered shore power lead in and out. Um, in the aft end of the cockpit here, it's a bit hard to see with the covers up, but we've got a nice carbon fiber up here. This is a retracting sun awning. So if you imagine without the covers on up here, it's a very, um, very nice area on the, on the back sun pad to, to enjoy the, uh, the sun. And just see the sun's coming out now actually so whilst we're here in the cockpit i'm just going to take you down into the engine room give you a quick look around the main machinery spaces 
nice easy ladder to climb down between the engines the same we're on a, a straight shaft design so we've got engine then the gearbox behind and it runs down through the shaft to propeller at the back so nicely balanced boat uh, with the larger say as we mentioned earlier the larger style d13900 engine so it's a 13 litre 900 horsepower the basic engine is a twin 800 um these just got a little bit more horsepower to get up and go certainly if you're covering that um the big tender maybe the jet ski you know the addition of the fin stabilizers all the things that induce drag it's really nice to have as much power really as is offered through the hull and um, you can see up on the on the outside we've got the wing station uh, aluminium fuel tanks and we've got things like um, CTV, CCTV cameras up here um, passerelle and um, hydraulic packs for platform what have you a little access hole through through the back there which is also available through um, access panels in the crew area everything's falling nicely to hand in here and you can see the finish everything's nicely clipped up and wiring's every neat and tidy emergency breakers for for thruster systems we've got wash down hose up here hot water tank sitting up here just above the starboard engine automatic fire suppression system and again um, CCTV camera this side things like um, Raypar fuel filter separators up there we've got um, fire flaps on the air intakes so if you're coding the boat for commercial use um, you can code one of these for 12 plus 2 crew um, and a lot of the systems are in the boat already in terms of of what you need to add so other than uh, additional safety equipment it's very highly spec built um, as standard from Sunseeker to facilitate a lot of boats going into commercial usage um, if we just climb down underneath the garage here you can see tucked up over on the on the port side of the boat there at the back just to balance the weight out that's your 13 kilowatt Onan uh, water cool generator and you've got access to things like rudder stocks down the back there so I say it's all um it's all working area really not much call for an owner to come down here day to day it's really done by um just the professional guys that are in here from time to time doing service works and and checks and what have you but say so it's all uh, all very nicely finished and uh, equally important for us is what really is going on behind the scenes as to all the nice cosmetics up top so uh, yeah we we'll head on back up and continue the tour um just check through off the top of my head if there's anything else worth mentioning to you Say so delivered um, March, April 2019, just over 105 hours running, prepared for the season. Um, she's on the market at 1.249 um, pounds tax paid. So um, say against the new boat price today of about 1.6 million pounds, it's a good, it's a good saving. Um, sort of beat that initial depreciation for a boat really, as you can see today is presenting extremely well and very little needed to put on it to to absolutely tick every possible box the really the owner did go to town on this from the outset i say and other than some minor cleaning which uh, is all arranged i say as soon as the as soon as the marinas allow access again we're um we're very much ready to go on the water so we can get the boat delivered here to use um uk season as soon as regulations allow if you want to to take advantage of a tax paid boat to use here on the south coast um i can arrange you a mooring either here at swanick or one of the other south coast marinas and uh, no problem at all we're a premier marina here but there's of course mdl and plenty of other independents that we can um, we can arrange that through or if you want to use the boat down in the med and um, there's still monthly if not bi-weekly shipping down to the med which we're moving a lot of ships south at the moment ready ready for the seasons to open up down in the med so there's no problem at all to get the boat moved from here launched off and put on a ship out of southampton or tilbury docks and off to um somewhere like Genoa, Parma, Nice, any of the big major European ports to say are all back open operating almost almost as normal so I say it's a rare opportunity there aren't many Mark 257s in the market at the moment say so not having been on the um, on the build for very long just that 2019 season it's um it's a great opportunity say so, um, if you'd like to know any more about the boat my name says James from Sunseeker Southampton Mobile number is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven, or drop me an email, which is james at sunseekersouthampton.com, um, and I can talk to my colleague Tom, who's actually uh, listing the boat for sale on behalf of the owner, and um, we can get you a, a whole library of additional photos and uh, and the build specs and what have you. So I say, hope you've enjoyed the tour today. Sorry, it's brief and the boat's not fully set up but just a nice opportunity whilst doing these um, walk rounds to give you an idea of 
of what we have available here for the 2020 season um, and we hope to hear from you soon.